Hi, and welcome to CV Reviews, where I review movies from my own personal collection and beyond. We're going to begin by reviewing the James Bond series, but uh, the order in which we review them will not be in order of release or by actor. It will be how I rank the James Bond movies from worst to best, in my own personal view. So we're going to start our countdown with what I think is the weakest in the James Bond series. And I know some of you out there might hate me for this, because some of you, for some bizarre reason, love this movie. We're going to begin with Quantum of Solace. Now, Quantum of Solace begins immediately following Casino Royale, where James Bond is investigating the mysterious organization, which we later learn is named Quantum, where their evil plan is to steal the water supply of Bolivia and sell it back to them for double the price. Now, what I like about this movie is Daniel Craig. I think he gives a very strong performance as James Bond. He's very dark. I actually prefer the darker James Bond, as you'll find out in later videos. And I think he's about the only one of the very few positive things I can say about this film. The editing is just so fast and so... It's just so choppy that it's hard to focus on what's going on on screen. And it just, it's tough to watch. And that's not what I want out of a James Bond movie. And I know a lot of you feel the same way. Uh, another thing I don't like is the evil plot of the villains. It's just so ridiculous and just one of those words, really, that's the best you could come up with. I mean, they make it a point to show it in the movie, just how poor Bolivia is, how poor of a country it is, and they're going to ransom their water supply knowing that, full well that they can't repay it. I mean, if this organization, Quantum, all they care about is money, couldn't they ransom a richer country than Bolivia? I, I mean, it, it, it doesn't make any sense. And it's just, uh, that pretty much sums up what I think of the movie in general. Overall, I would have to give the film two and a half stars out of five. All in all, I think it's a very good, very fast-paced action movie. I just think it's just, it's not a Bond movie at all. I just, there's nothing that feels Bond about it. It just, the movie feels like if Jason Bourne called in sick one day and Bond had to come in and fill in for him. It just, it doesn't feel right. So there's my brief review for Quantum of Solace. So stay tuned for the 22nd ranked James Bond film in my countdown. And see you next time.